everyone. I think you are going to love today's topic of the video. Uh, it is called how to say no to stress and yes to a more simple Christmas. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Lynn Schrader and I empower men and women to step outside of their comfort zone and begin living a life or having a relationship or building a business like they could have never imagined. So back to the topic, how to say no to stress and yes to a more simple Christmas. Uh, when you think of Christmas, what do you think of? What do you think of? Do you think of something that is calm or do you think of a lot of chaos? Do you think of frenzy and uh, gift shopping and wrapping tons of presents and a list that's longer than your arm and, and parties that you don't even necessarily want to go to? Are you buying into the commercialism of Christmas and the expectations and the comparisonitis and the earning brownie points from those around you by having the most perfect Christmas? Is that what you think of when you think of Christmas? Um, so now I'm going to say something and it's not going to be new to you, but people don't remember the gifts and, and, and the frenzy as much as they remember the conversations that you have with them, the laughter that goes on around them, the time that you spend with them, or the experiences that you give them. Have you ever done this? Because listen, I am speaking as much to myself as I am to everybody else in this video. Have you ever gone through the holidays and first of all, they go as quick as, as all get out and by the time they're over, you feel a tad bit depressed or let down because all the hype and then boom, it's over. Do you ever feel that way? Now, this video is not meant to shame anyone because, again, I'm speaking to myself as much as I am to anybody else. And, and if craziness and all of those other things, the frenzy, is what you like to do, then so be it. Wonderful. I'm speaking to the people out there, though, that feel like it is one of the craziest times of the year. So if you are desperately seeking, to take back Christmas, then I've got good news for you because it's only December 5th and you've got many, many days to take back Christmas. So I have a list of some no's and some yeses for you and I to try to adopt. I'll start with the no's first. Say no to perfection. First of all, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I say over and over that perfection is unattainable. Perfection is a myth. Perfection is exhausting. It's unattainable and it's exhausting when you try to seek it. So say no to perfection. Say no to the perfect Christmas card. Say no to the perfect tree. Say no to the perfect food. Perhaps you can, instead of wrapping a, a, a hundred gifts, you can choose to use gift bags this year. Uh, you can say no to baking uh, the, the 10 different kinds of cookies. You can say no to the extensive decorating and all of that is tied up into this need to be perfect. Say no to perfection, it's unattainable. Number two, say no to just one more gift. Oh, I'm just going to get one more gift. Have you ever done this? Because I have. Have you ever walked? So you've got gifts that are wrapped under your tree and you've walked by and you look at them and you think, it doesn't look like many gifts. I think I'll go out and buy a few more. Ah, say no to just one more gift. Have a date or have an amount in mind. And after that, no, no. Make budget boundaries set expectations and have conversations around those with your family. This year, I'm going to, or we're going to do this. It's not gonna be so much about the gifts, the amounts, but it's gonna do that, we're gonna do this. Say no to overspending. Um, make less mean more. So 
you have less gifts, make them mean more. Maybe have a story around each of the gifts that you're giving this year. As you're giving the gift before the person opens it, tell a story around it. How did you find it? Why did you find it? Why did you know that they were gonna love it? Now, be careful, perfection is unattainable, but when you put meaning into a gift and you don't buy just to buy, but you're thinking about it, your heart will say yes, and it will say thank you. So say no to just one more gift. And remember, make less mean more. Say no to a full calendar. Every time that you say yes to something, if you watched any of my videos, you already know where this is going. Every time you say yes to something, you are saying no to something else. And usually that something else is a higher priority. So say no to a full calendar. And by the way, say no without guilt. If you watched my last video, if you haven't, go back and watch it. But if you have, then you know that I said, say no, say a guilt-free no. Uh, number four, say no to being Wonder Woman. You are not Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was a TV show and she's not real. Uh, she was a cartoon. Say no to being Wonder Woman. Ask for help. Delegate. You don't have to make all of the appetizers. You don't have to do all of the shopping. Ask your husband, ask your family, et cetera, et cetera. Say no to being Wonder Woman. Last one, last no. Say no to crazy, unrealistic expectations. Stop striving for it's a Wonderful Life. I love that movie. It's my favorite. Stop striving for It's a Wonderful Life and be okay with Christmas with the Cranks or A Merry Friggin' Christmas, those silly movies. Be okay with that. And so what if your family's slightly dysfunctional? It's okay. Again, perfection is a myth. So stop striving for crazy, unrealistic expectations. By the way, that list that's as long as your arm Get rid of it. Create a new list that says on one side of it, must do. And on the other side, it just says, eh, could do. And make sure that must do side is filled up with things that bring you joy, that bring you good tidings, uh, that bring you laughter, that, that make memories. Say no to crazy expectations. Here's what you can say yes to. Say yes to checking your comparison dial. Yes, we all have that comparison dial when we look to the right or to the left and we compare our worst to someone else's best. It's so unfair. Check your comparison dial and dial it down. You have nothing to prove to anyone so that Christmas card that you got in the mail that looked perfect with the letter that was perfect. The, the kids that wait in line to get their picture with Santa and they don't cry, forget it. Baking, you know, looking at your friend that does the thousand cookies and then delivers them to the homeless, stop. Comparison has to get out of your life. So stop, say yes to checking your comparison dial and check it often and dial it down to zero because you have nothing to prove. The other thing you can say yes to is say yes to being present over perfect. Remember, it's the memories. It's the time spent. It's the telling stories it's remembering the old the other christmases it's it's looking at christmas lights it's it's whatever it's being present over being perfect and the last one is to say yes to pausing and reflecting stop often this christmas be grateful think about the world's expectation versus your expectation Say yes to pausing and reflecting. So here's the deal. You define how you do Christmas. Not TV, not your neighbor, not your friend, 
only you. Question, how do you do it? Question, ask yourself, how do I do Christmas? How do I want to do Christmas? And when you do that, you gain a sense of the true meaning. So take Christmas back, no more commercialism. Instead of rushing full force to Christmas and being let down by January 2nd, instead of rushing full force and manufacturing all these things that you think it should look like, instead of doing that, let Christmas take its good old time and get to you and say no to things that you shouldn't say no to and say yes to things that you should say yes to. So here's something that I've been doing for the last several years. It's not my, I did not make this up. It actually came from uh, my church and it, it's actually nationwide, but it has been freeing for me. But it's called the Advent Conspiracy. And what you do, what you choose to do is to conspire against the commercialism, the expectations, the hype, the frenzy of Christmas. You conspire against it and you claim it back into what you want it to be like. And they have four tenets. You can do this or not, but it's to worship fully, worship fully, to spend less, to give more, to give your time, your talents, to give more of that, and then to love fully, to love all. I hope you got some value out of this. Listen, if you know somebody that gets wigged out over Christmas like I did, and like I do sometimes, share this video with them or tag them. Um, I hope you listen to this video again and again if you need to. I know I will look at my notes because sometimes I go off the deep end, but not so much anymore. But I hope you got some value out of this. And if you did, leave a comment below or let me know what you thought about it. Thank you so much. And from my home to yours, Merry Christmas.